Good morning. I'm Lynn and welcome to another day at Utopia Farms. I got my laundry basket of clean towels ready. So let's go see how many more lambs we had last night. This is the quick morning check. As you can see, we're heading along the walls again as things start to bung up. These, are, these, these two were born last night. They're, one of them's again really small. Oh, mommy, leave that lamb alone. But this one looks really nice. <laughs> it's not for, oh, I was gonna say she looks like the one that was born the other day. <laughs> It's not, it's, not, it's not four days old, it's two days old. Yeah, this one goes out today. I thought it seemed like a, a nice lamb. We got the triplets here working on mom, but I'm going to be coming and topping them off shortly. Uh, this is the big guy that was born uh, yesterday before we ended the video. He, he's a really big guy. <laughs> This one is new, was born last night. This one was born 30 minutes ago. <laughs> no, that's, this one all has mastered escaping from the misfit pen. Here's my voice and then it knows it's time to uh, get his bottle. So she comes out to greet us. We always have a lamb every year that does that. Here's two more that were born last night. Hi, buddies. You guys look sharp. Yeah, you do. You look like sharp ones. This one, these two were born yesterday. And this one was two, or these two were. Oh, Scotty. Scotty's giving me a hint too that he wants his food. And these are Peanuts lambs. And she seems to be doing a good job this year. Wasn't the best of moms last year. Okay, Scotty's climb through. I didn't get your food, I'll go get it. I'll go get it right Slam. now. Thinks it rules the roost, it's searching for stuff. Well, I carry bottles in that pail. And he's looking in the pail to see if uh, there's any bottles there. No, no bottles in that pail, honey. Hi. <laughs> so every day we have to give pails of water to the sheep in the jugs. Arnie's just gathering them all up. How was last night? The couch, you mean? You're, you're gonna live on the couch the rest of your life. Well, I was wondering if about the couch, you don't have to share it. That's what I find out with the bed. <laughs> there you go. Nicely organized, see? Is it organized by, like, how is it, like a Christmas tree or? Those are all clean ones. My nose is clean, too. Really, Ernie? Okay. These are the triplets. They just had their bottles. You're finished. You guys are full now. You're full. You guys need to go lie with your mommy. Yeah, you deal. You deal. Two boys and a girl. Hi, you guys are great. Hey, Mom. Must be nice to have a helper, eh? The water is all fed, the triplets are all fed, and now it's about going to the back and feeding those Suffolk bottle babies. And they're a lot more needy than the white sheep, and so they're taking a lot longer to learn the bottle holder. They get better each day, but they way prefer to be held. <laughs> so off we go down there. Yeah, I'll step in, honey. Who made the gates for you, hon? Okay, you guys. Mm -hmm. Who's hungry? Who's hungry? Mm -hmm. Oh, you were. Come on. There you go. Come on, you guys. Come on. Who's hungry? Come on. Come on. Who wants to try the bottle feeder? Yeah, who wants to try it? 
waiting to be on a bottle feeder and independent. There we go. No, back on, back on that way. There you go. Hey, you're big enough to figure it out. Come on. No, not you. Okay. How about you? You look clever. There you go. Are you clever? Uh, which one's more clever? Oh, they're just fooling around with you. I'll give you a hand. Come on. Come on, I don't need to hold you for that to happen. Maybe if they don't drink, they'll be a lot more hungry tonight. Well, they didn't drink all night, honey. Okay. Well, we're trying to help you, honey. There's a lamb in the Dorset group. He's right here. He's not a bottle baby. He jumps at me and he comes to see me. He's letting me touch him now for the first time. And he is a gorgeous ram lamb. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi. Can people see how nice you are? You're so close, it's hard to see. But look at you. And you got personality and attitude, too. There he is. He's a beautiful ram. Hi, Angel. Angel just came up. She brought her lamb with her for us to see. Angel, looks like you have a humdinger again this year. This is Angel's lamb. <laughs> hey, you're Angel's lamb. You're spectacular. Hi. Hi, you're Angel's lamb. She's a really nice lamb. She had a really nice ram lamb last year. See, if they're going to give you a single, they may as well give you a good one. Hi, you give humdingers. She's, uh, she's quite the long, wide ewe lamb. And here's my other buddy. 72. He's 514 on the tag. I gotta go check him out. Cause, uh, he's one of the younger guys in the group now. His mom's a bigger you, but as far as I can see, he's built very, very correct. Hey. Hey. Are you a nice Rammy? There you go. We like the big bone on them. It's now Saturday afternoon. We've had our lunch break. And we're just going to clear out all the snow that fell off the roof in the ram's pen so that we can get them some new hay in here. And while he's at it, he's scraping up the old manure pack here as well even though these guys are outside we want to keep them as clean as we possibly can so we just removed when he was doing manure I don't know a week ago 
We just removed all the manure from this platform. And now we got a pile again. Now a lot of that is snow. So that pile's gonna, when it eventually starts to melt, will disappear. What's the matter, buddy? Hi. Hi, you guys. How y'all doing? Hi, handsome. We sold your son yesterday, Keen. Yeah. Hi, Quincy. Hi, Quincy. Hi. Hi, handsome. Hi, big guy. Hi. How you doing, buddy? Hey. Hi. Hi. You guys are all really nice. You guys are all really nice. Oh, glad. You're a silly boy. Hi. You guys are a bit in a cluster. You're just cleaning your pen out. Yeah, just cleaning your pen out, Glad. You're a sweet boy. Bernie's gonna put some new hay in now to their feeders, and then I gotta go. They're out of salt and mineral here, so I gotta go top up their salt and mineral holders. too much about the listeriosis in this barn and with snappy just because uh, yeah we weren't feeling too good about it but um, it seems to be over now um, it affected three sheep in here two we had to finally put down yesterday and the other one seems to be okay like she's walking around and doing stuff now so she might have gotten over it because she's up usually when they get listeriosis how you can tell they have it is they spin in circles they can't stand up they're dizzy um snappy got it too and snappy's obviously not in with this group but Snappy was in the barn where the ewes that had it were. And um, we're thinking that they must have eaten some mold like over a month ago while they were still in the other barn when Snappy was still in a breeding group with them. because And we didn't even put two and two together, although when Snappy came down with it the other day, we couldn't figure out where he got it from because the rams are eating dry hay and there's definitely no mold in it but I'm thinking that it must have been festering for over a month in them because when I scanned the tags on the girls that had it they were from Snappy's group and in the breeding groups you see how well we're going to roll out a bale of hay here now and you see when we roll out hay that at the beginning sometimes the first part that you unravel could have mold on because it's the outer section of the bale. And we, we always try to pull as much of it away as possible. But Snappy's breeding group was at the front of the barn. So was um, Geronimo's group. But I'm thinking that there was a patch 
on the side of the barn at the front where Snappy's group was. Go on. And a few of them ate that patch. Normally they won't eat it at all, but it just seems too coincidental that it all came from the same group. And I, I always thought that if they ate it, they'd get sick right away. But it has to have been a month. So, yeah, that's what Snappy had as well. So it was not a good thing. But like I say, I think that's the end of it now. And these guys should all be good from here on out. Knock on wood. Basically, in all our years farming, I've only ever had a couple of sheep that have come back from listeriosis. Sometimes you get it where it looks like they're on the road to recovery um, because they can start eating and drinking a bit better because it's a, it's it affects their neurological system because um, they can't they tend not to be able to swallow and eat and stuff either. Um, but sometimes they'll start being able to do that, but they are still basically paralyzed. They, they just never get up. So, um, it's not a good one to get. It's the prognosis is really poor on it. But like I say, there is one girl in here. She has a stripe on her back somewhere and she's up and about so maybe she didn't eat as much, but she does seem to be better. Hi, girls. I'm glad you guys didn't get it. Hi, Cammie. Hi, sweetheart. It's not like we were trying to hide the problems from you guys. It's just that, I don't know. Um, I am doing a site to showcase the farm and what we do and the sheep and uh the stuff that happens here but i and i don't mind telling you about things but i don't think watching a sheep staggering and falling over and dying is suitable content yeah, i think it's good enough just to tell you about it tell you what the symptoms are the causes and stuff but i don't think anyone needs to look at it just like i'm pretty sure none of the other YouTubers show you how they put down the sheep that um, don't aren't going to make it. Because sometimes it reaches a point where you have to put them down because they're just suffering so badly. And yeah, it's just a horrible, horrible part of farming. But um, yeah, it's, it's one of the things you have to deal with. And some of the, those type of things really bring you down and they make you wonder why you're even in it because you try so hard and such a little thing like eating a piece of bad food uh, destroys your life. Cammy, we're not ready to go yet, so stay put, okay? The food is coming. Okay, he's back. You can see there's a lot of big bellies in here now. As always, this is the easiest way to see if somebody's not feeling well. Because sheep that aren't doing well do not come up to the feeder. So we're going to watch for sheep hanging back. Looks like everyone's come up. Now, it doesn't mean that they're sick if they don't come up. In this group, they're all pregnant, so it can also mean that they're about to have a lamb.
This is also how you can gauge how consistent your sheep are. You basically want your flock to all be the same height, same length, same width, as peas in the pot as you can get from all being individuals. And we, these are sired by lots of different rams too, so getting consistency is always a challenge. But the reason you want consistency is because if everybody's the same, they eat the same, they perform the same. When they go to the market, if you're in the market business, the buyers want everybody to be the same because they can guarantee that the product is consistent. Nobody wants a product that some is good, some is bad. You want it all good. So um, whether you're a commercial breeder or a purebred breeder, you always want consistency in your flock. If we're rolling sheep over, it means we're trimming hooves and letting them out of the jug. So this mommy just got dewormed and now she's going to get clipped. Are you going out? Are you going to, are you going to go backwards? There you go. Try go in the group pen and see how you do there. Come on, that's it. There you go. Here comes another you and her lambs to join the Suffolk group. There you go, buddies. Yeah. Are you guys full yet? Not enough. I think you guys are just greedy. Are you greedy? Are you greedy? No, you just knocked the little guy off. Is that nice? I think you guys are just being greedy now. Are you guys being greedy? Come on then. I think you are. I think you guys are playing now. These are the triplets. This is their afternoon feeding. They must have gotten a bit from mom because they don't seem overly hungry. They're more concerned with playing right now. You guys are acting really silly. Yeah, you are. You're acting really silly. Eh? Are you a silly boy? Are you a silly boy? Hey, eh? Would you like a little more? There's a little more here. No, I don't think so. I think you're wanting to play. I think you're wanting to play. Because suffix are needy. Suffix are needy. Yes, they are. They're needy. <laughs> are they needy? Are you playing? Yeah, they are, aren't they? They're needy. Hey, Lammies, are you guys needy under there? Hi. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi. <laughs> You're funny. You guys are just so funny. There you are. You're 
are really funny. <laughs> well, we're putting straw in the other barn, so I'm gonna bring a, a half feeding when I'm in there because otherwise, if I'm working in a barn where there's bottle babies, they're all gonna be screaming at me, so. Off to the coveralls. Because these guys are just playing. You're just playing. You are. So now it's straw day in this barn. Again. some nice lambs in here. That guy's nice. Pretty sure that's Lazarus. Hi, buddy. And look at the bone on him and stuff. But this, this ram, this ram can't win a show, eh? Because he's not what, what the show people want, eh? He's a really meaty little lamb, this guy. <laughs> well, you can just... It's hard to stand out, but now he's afraid. But watch when he stands. And ben! You, you can just see. Don't do that, buddy. Just calm down a little bit. I'm your friend. I'm not your enemy. You can, you can just see how consistent he is from here to here. Ben! So this is a perfect ram for if someone wants to, to put on to a flock to, to get the, a meat lamb, eh? That's what she prefer. He's not going to be 50 inches high. <laughs> there he is. He's a little British style one. He's exactly what he should be. And there's, I think that's my guy there yeah, that I like. Way above average. The guy. I want to catch that one to find out what number he is. But a real good female right back there against that wall. Yeah. You don't have to look very far to see the difference. But where's that guy that I like? I want to find out what number he is. He's right in the middle there, scratching his head, isn't he? That's him. You can tell just how he walks. He's my favorite in here. He's the one I want to call Lucifer. I just don't know what his number is. This is the guy that I like. Super black. What number's on his... Uh, Tag. Four sixty-eight. What? Four sixty-eight. Is that right? Four sixty-eight. Okay. Just making sure you don't have it backwards or anything. Why? Do I do that? You do. But I. He's my favorite in here. There you go. Stand on. He even walks like a show sheep. We were just about to leave the barn and we realized it used to be that she would leap all the gates, but Katie's stuck behind the back gate, so we have to go get her. And we got a little bit of a lamb race going on with these suffix. These are the young ones. it for another day we're going in to make dinner right now um, we both were feeling a little bit tired today and wishing that this weekend was a weekend off <laughs> so it wasn't it was another busy day but I have to mention that our new neighbors that just moved in came over yesterday with a whole bunch of 
homemade food and stuff like meals for us <laughs> which was so nice so right now I'm just putting a pie in the oven that she made for dinner for us so I mean how awesome is that anyway thanks for watching and I hope you join us again tomorrow for the next episode at Utopia Farms bye for now <laughs>